Is artificial intelligence threatening the identity of artwork in the digital age? To thoroughly investigate this question, we must first address to others. What exactly is art? What precisely is artificial intelligence? Hello, my name is Kay, which stands for Kindly Educating Intellectuals. I am an AI-generated droid here to help you on your adventure through the worlds of artificial intelligence and the beauty of art. Let us begin with a difficult question. What really is art? Some may argue that this is art, or that this is art, or that this is art. But there must be some boundaries, right? Art cannot just be what we see, otherwise, it would not be as unique. So, if all that is art is this, how about this? But surely not this. This is becoming more complicated. Let's look up the definition of the word. Here we go. The expression or application of human creative skill or imagination is referred to as art. But wait, what exactly does it mean to be creative? Is a shopping list considered art because I am creating something and my skill is my ability to write and understand the language? Not at all. But why is a poem considered art? Doesn't it require the same creative abilities? I've got it. As a result, art differs from other human creations in that it elicits feelings and has emotional significance. Let us revise our previous definition. Art is defined as the expression or application of human creative skill or imagination that evokes emotion in the audience. The difference between a shopping list and a poem is that the poetry elicits emotions. Music, for example, can make you depressed, motivated, or joyful. Films might make you laugh, cry, smile, or be frightened. It's all about feelings. Art makes us feel and think in ways that a shopping list simply cannot, no matter how hard it tries. However, nature might make a person feel comfortable or cheerful, which is not considered art. However, a depiction of nature is considered art. This is due to the fact that art is a human creative skill or imagination. It is the communication of experiences and emotions from one person to another. But does that mean that this depiction of a monkey, from which you humans claim origin, qualifies as art? The law, on the other hand, does not consider it even worthy of copyright. It feels like art, yet it isn't. Perhaps there must be some kind of intent or objective for art to be art. The monkey had no idea it was photographing itself, there was no aim. It is not art if I accidentally spill paint on my walls. However, Jackson Pollock's work is art because there was intention. That could be the definition of human creative skill or imagination that incites feelings in the audience. But art does not have to be famous or even good to be considered art. Art is an experience. Even when compared to the Mona Lisa, which took Leonardo da Vinci over four years to achieve, a bored stick figure sketch of your crush is still art. Perhaps extremely awful art, things cannot exist without their opposites. If you had never experienced night, you wouldn't know it was day. This intoxicated Sharpie sketches as much art as Michelangelo's David sculpture. Jack and Jill is no less a movie than Casablanca or The Godfather. Consequently, it is no less a work of art. Even if some may disagree with such a notion, this is because art is the purposeful expression of human creative skill or imagination that incites feelings in the audience. What is artificial intelligence, or AI? Artificial intelligence, AI, is the ability of a computer or machine to execute tasks that would typically require human intelligence, such as learning, problem solving, decision making, and language understanding. AI applications include virtual assistants such as Siri or Alexa, self-driving cars, and facial recognition software. AI has the potential to revolutionize numerous industries and has already had a substantial impact on fields such as healthcare, transportation, finance, and media. However, the development and application of AI raise ethical problems as well as questions about its possible impact on work, society, and artists. Now for a brief history of the development of AI in artwork. The application of AI in art dates back to the 1950s when early computer programs were employed to generate visual designs and patterns. In the 1960s and 1970s, AI was also used to make music and poetry. The discipline of AI art began to flourish and spread in the 1980s and 1990s. 
with artists and researchers using AI to create a diverse spectrum of visual and audio works. One prominent example was the Painting Fool, a 1990s AI system capable of producing creative paintings in a range of genres. Created by David Rawlinson in the 1990s, the Painting Fool used machine learning algorithms to generate original paintings based on pictures in a database. Despite its initial popularity, the Painting Fool is not as well known as some other AI art projects today. It triggered a debate over the role of AI in art creation and whether AI-generated art can be regarded as genuine art. Joining the social scenes, there has also been an increase in the usage of machine learning algorithms to generate photos and videos within social media, and it remains an active area of inquiry and innovation. Using AI-generated images can assist users in creating aesthetically appealing and attention-grabbing material that is more likely to go viral. True, AI-generated imagery has grown in popularity on TikTok and Instagram, with many users making and sharing videos containing deepfake and other sorts of AI-generated content. There are several reasons why AI-generated imagery has gained popularity on TikTok. One explanation is that creating and sharing this type of information is quite simple using publicly available tools and software. Overall, the trend of AI-generated imagery on TikTok is expected to continue as more users become aware of the creative opportunities provided by this technology. Now that we understand the history and capabilities of both art and AI, let us combine them to try and uncover the potential dangers and hidden treasures that lie within AI-generated artwork. There are several reasons why real artists matter and why their work may be valued over AI-generated graphics. One argument is that human-created art may transmit emotions and ideas in ways that AI-generated art may not be able to. Human artists can incorporate their personal experiences, feelings, and thoughts into their work, making it more approachable and meaningful to viewers. Another argument is that human-created art frequently has a uniqueness and individuality that AI cannot reproduce. Each artist has their own unique style, perspective, and vision, which adds to the art world's diversity and richness. Finally, human-created art can have a sense of workmanship and attention to detail that AI may find difficult to imitate. Many artists spend years honing their skills and improving their processes, resulting in highly talented and meticulously created artwork. As a result, while AI-generated artwork can be stunning and has a place in the art world, real artists will always be vital because of their capacity to create meaningful, one-of-a-kind, and well-crafted works of art. Artists have expressed concern that the rise of AI-generated artwork could jeopardize their careers. As AI systems may be capable of producing art that is comparable to or indistinguishable from human-created art, some artists may be concerned that AI-generated art would be produced more rapidly and cheaply than human-created art, causing demand for human-created artwork to fall. It is crucial to highlight, however, that AI-generated art is still in its early phases of development and is not yet capable of entirely mimicking human artists. It is also worth noting that the use of AI in art might provide artists with new opportunities and difficulties. Some artists, for example, use AI as a tool to create new and original pieces of art, while others investigate the ethical and philosophical implications of AI in their work. Art's human component offers depth and emotion that AI cannot duplicate. To sustain cultural and creative diversity in the art world, it is critical to support and cherish the work of human artists. While AI can be a beneficial tool in the creative world, it is necessary to be mindful of the hazards and limitations of over-reliance on it. Overall, while the rise of AI-generated artwork may pose some issues for artists, it's critical to recognize that the art industry is always expanding and that human creativity and ability will always play a role. I'll leave you with one last notion. We've looked into various elements of AI, both the perils and the advances. And if, indeed, art is a subjective type of media, could this video be considered art?